Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Danny, and today we are in Bangkok. As you can see behind me, Mega Bangna Mall. Guys, this is my first time that I've been here, and this mall right off the bat reminds me of something that has built by the uh, projectors of America. In the United States, we have certain malls that look like this. They're kind of like remote, but it's really big. And uh, we're gonna discover today this whole mall. Also, right away outside, if you can see over there, there is an IKEA over there, or some people say IKEA if you are from Europe. Uh, at the same time, I'm streaming live on TikTok. So this is how I'm gonna be conducting my day today. I'm gonna be talking to my audience on TikTok and this camera is filming for my YouTube with the better quality, obviously. So the idea is that if you want to watch my live streams while I'm doing this, you can go to my TikTok. The link is gonna be below the video. And if you wanna watch these videos with better quality, uh, with better sound and the long format, you can go to my YouTube channel and the links I will also provide in the description. So this is the Bang Na, Mega Bang Na. And right off the bat, I will tell you guys that this, um, let me do, hold on, I'm gonna switch the mode really quick. Give me one second. There we go. So guys, right off the bat, you can see that this is the kind of like the entrance of the mall and it's pretty huge. I already see some foreigners. What we're gonna do is we wanna walk a little bit outside first before we enter. And I'm just gonna show you how you can basically hang out around here. Um, it's amazing. Uh, I really like it off the bat because it has a lot of green so it ha if, if you see around malls like things like water fountains around here we can see uh this is a playground for kids this means that you can hang out here like even for the whole day you know if you wish to and let's check this out guys this is the directory this is how huge it is it is two story mall so it is not like many floors but the land mass is insane these are all the zones right here these are all the restaurants right here so it's pretty huge and it has level one and it has level two which is quite amazing right all right so let's walk around here if you guys enjoy these type of videos by the way do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit the like button to share this is awesome japanese food here we are like on the japanese street you know everything here looks like japanese style food and over there while you're eating or something your kids can play on the playground i'm not gonna go and just film the kids because that's not appropriate. Um, also, hanging out area for the people, and we are seeing some kind of a water fountain here. It just goes down the strings, probably very beautiful at night. some bar i bet that on the weekend this place is booming like booming booming today we came here uh daytime uh and it is not a weekend but uh, also right now in thailand is a sun uh holiday usually people during this like a uh, holy holiday they uh you know travel with their families and they like to spend their time outside of the cities also so 
This is the area from outside. You see, this is like the kids playground. If I was a kid, I'd be happy to be around here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in into one of these entrances inside. Guys, don't forget that it's really hot. So staying outside for quite long, maybe is not the best idea. We're gonna walk in straight into this amazing. Guys, I see that there are a lot of people who are wearing masks. Usually I would wear a mask, but today I'm not going to. The reason for that, it is really hard to narrate and I have a separate microphone. It is really hard to narrate while I'm in the mask. So right off the bat, and also currently in Thai, there is no regulation that you're supposed to wear a mask. So, but usually I do wear. So right off the bat, we have here a fruit market. Oh my god, there's so much food here. Some nuts. This is amazing. There's a electric golf cart. I enjoy these type of food videos, markets. Everything is fresh here. Guys, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> wow. Let's go check some of this food. This is, I think, octopus. Yeah, seafood. Fresh juice. Look at this market, guys. It's so damn big. Beautiful, right? These are some steam. Probably like a dumpling or a meat or something like this. At some point, I'm also gonna find something that I like and I will buy it. Ooh, looks so good. So much food, guys. Wow. We're just gonna go through this uh, whole market, front and back. Oh my God, traditional Thai food right here. Beautiful, right? Oh, smells. Smells 
so like different like all of these all of these like buckets they have like different spices in them you know i'm not personally a fan of, the, of those particular flavors but smells a lot this is a coconut coconut part of the world i should say and this is also traditional thai food look guys how much food is in here right so much food <laughs> let's go this way let's go through the middle and this is a sticky rice i think or mango lassi something like that they, maybe they sell both. Some seafood. Let's go this way. Some popcorn. By the way, guys, I'm going to the movie today with Prang. So it's also located in this mall. So we're gonna have a lot of the popcorn today. These are some really, really cute. Oh my God. And, and look at this guys, this is for those who like heavy. This is heavy. some dead duck and also some sushi I will probably get two of these right now Let me put the camera right here so I can pay them. Sadikab, yep. Can I please have? Oh, yeah, really? okay, I got it. Thank you. No, no, I'll, I'll eat it now. Okay. Yeah, do you have chopsticks? Cup and cup. Yes, cup and cup, thank you. 30 baht? Okay, 30 baht. Yes, wasabi, yes, thank you. Cup and cup. Okay, guys. So, if you don't know, 
I am Mangsa Virat vegetarian and I got myself three sushi with seaweed rolls, three pieces. They also give you these type of wasabi and they give you soy sauce. And I'm just gonna eat it right here. Like, I am hungry, hungry. Then I put on some wasabi also. Making it now. Like this. It's not easy, but you can put on some. Okay, we're gonna have one piece with wasabi and two pieces without wasabi. And I get the chopsticks right away. Ping, 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 ping. Let's go, first piece. Mm. Mm. Yes, baby. Hell yeah. Let's have another one with wasabi this time. This is what I'm eating, TikTok. If you guys don't see it, this is what I'm eating. Let's do another one. Oops, lost it. Oops, happens. Put it all back in. Next try. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Spicy. So goddamn spicy. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> Three pieces cost 30 baht. So 10 baht per one piece. One more. Let's go. So fucking good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Guys, on TikTok, hit the fucking like button. Press a lot of likes on the screen. Tap, 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 tap. Let's go. All right. And we're going to continue. Oops. Let's go, YouTube. Cop con cop. Cop con cop. Thank you. This is some hot dogs wrapped into what? Into the egg? Oh, look. This looks good. I'm not gonna eat it, but this looks good.
so cute. Okay. okay, guys, move on. Find it up. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> and now we're walking into the market with all kinds of appliances. Oh, I like this. This is good. My mom likes the plants a lot. She takes care of plants. This is, looks like a bonsai. They have cactuses here. Hello, how are you? Okay. On the left side, guys, there are a bunch of banks. All of these things there look like banks. We're gonna go to the end of this part. Oh, this is, by the way, guys, this is super rich. It's like a very famous type of exchange. But there's too many people at the super rich. I don't wanna wait here. I actually have some dollars that I need to exchange, but this looks this looks too many people. Fitness first lobby. What is fitness first? Fitness first is probably a gym. So I don't know exactly guys, I will just show you how you get here. Uh, this is probably a Bangna uh, BTS station. So if you guys are traveling, it has, best I would say probably best is to travel here with the car, a bike or something like that. Downstairs, I'm not gonna go there because the sign says um <clears throat> fitness first over here also so they have a big gym okay okay all right a lot of foreigners are in here means that they go to this type of gym i personally have gym in my condo so i don't need to go anywhere i fucking love my condo okay I feel way better after those three pieces of sushi. Like, I start to getting more hungry, you know? A little bit more. We got some hair salon in there. Oh my God, these girls. They've almost knocked me down. It was like 12 females walking towards me. Okay, so we're gonna walk that way straight over there there's also a playground for kids i really like how they make it like uh available for kids you know that while you're shopping and stuff your kids are also gonna have fun a lot a lot of people today a lot Some stuff for girls. Some cocktails, some more traditional sticky rice. And we're gonna go and explore the mall itself. We're going to see what kind of uh, stores are here, what do they sell, what is interesting around here, and all that good stuff. Where are we going? 
I feel like going this way actually. So, because there's also a walk in around that way, but I just feel like going this way. Yep. Yes. So the mall itself, it feels honestly uh not that big like since we're walking like this right now yes and this particular wing is divided into two parts in the middle you can just chill like that probably some ikea and uh you can just sit do whatever you want you know which is cool i like it um, but it does not feel like it's really like huge, you know? Definitely beautiful, very clean, nice music is playing, people are chilling. I like that. Coffee bar like this, right in the middle, it looks like an airport style, I like that, you know? Now, some beauty store, some more beauty stores. So it's very long. It feels like it's super, super duper long. You know? We are probably gonna go upstairs right now to check. What is going on over there? Let's go. It is definitely crowded today, but it is not overcrowded. Like you have enough of space, you know? Obviously they have all kinds of shopping uh, stores here because Thailand in general is very globalistic. So in Thailand, you're gonna see all kinds of outlets, Dior, Chanel, everything that is uh, must be here is here. So you will see almost every American brand. For example, on the right side, we're gonna see Adidas. We got on the left side; those are de those are definitely third-party stores, sports. But let's just go inside the Adidas. So I personally like Adidas. So, just gonna check what do they have here. And they have two stores, you see? They are connected. They're both Adidas. We're gonna just go through here really quick. Just gonna show you what do they sell around here. Salavikan. Let's check out these shoes really quick. Three stripes, you know, I used to have these shoes. These never get old. Last shoes that I bought, by the way, I bought my last shoes in the Bangkok mall in the central world. Uh, those were Adidas and I was wearing them for Sadiqan. And I was wearing them for two years, almost two years, and they were really great. They were similar to these shoes, similar, but they were more breathable. Yeah. So the stuff that you get here is um, usually uh, good quality. And I remember the last shoes that I've that I bought in Thailand, they were not expensive. They were something around 3,000 baht, which is like $100. Hey, what's up? <laughs> which is like uh, 3,000 uh, 3, uh, 3, 3, baht, which is like $100, which is, uh, I don't know if it's very expensive 
for Thailand, I think it's a normal price, not too much. For America, it's definitely nothing. Look, they have a Hoka store here, guys. We gotta go. These are really good shoes. These are amazing shoes. If you guys... Okay, so they're about 4,000, 5,000 baht, which is great. I think in America, it's more expensive than this. But these shoes are amazing. Super comfortable. I'd, I'd usually put them a little bit above the Skechers, because if you used Skechers before, you'd say that Skechers are also pretty comfortable. But for example, these, right? They're comfortable and they're light at the same time. And Skechers are usually heavy. So these are good. Let's go check female. I know that some females are watching me also. Shout out to all of you. Also beautiful, right? This is amazing. <coughs> Brand. Definitely a good place to buy if you're into Hoka. Skechers also here. We're just gonna move in, guys. Not gonna show you Skechers. We're just gonna keep walking. Uh, just wanted to say really quick, if you guys are enjoying my walking videos with my commentary, I'm trying it more, trying to make it more interesting for you. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to share my video with all the traveling friends, with people who enjoy this type of content. It would help a lot for YouTube to promote my videos. Thank you. And also, if you would like to stay up to date on all of my new videos I'm posting frequently, uh, please hit the notification bell. Thank you. It's beautiful, right? If you guys look like that, it looks really, really, really long which way do you guys which way do you want to guys go that way or this way right or left I feel like we came from right so let's go to left we're gonna wrap around Wrangler, Kevin Klein, Tommy Helfiger. All of these shoes are here. They sell drones over there. This is cool. Let me check this. This is cool. I like these things, man. You have to understand that in Asia, they have so much electronics that we do not even know about in the West. Because West is very, especially United States, is very kind of like market protected, obviously, for many reasons. But here you can find so much cool stuff, even like on different kind of, let's go, let's go, let's check this out. Let's watch, let's check these watches. Like, for example, like when you are in Thailand, the content that you're gonna get on your social media from China is ridiculous. They sell so much interesting electronics. And for example, if you're in Thailand, it's definitely not gonna be as expensive to get shipping to United States. So here, you can find a lot of really, really cool electronics. Like look at these speakers, for example. These are really awesome. 
and also like for me for example since i'm considered to be a foreigner here right a lot of the brands that they have i do not know them so i always kind of have to double check and i always have to ask and read reviews like oh is this a good brand if i'm buying something from like china or south korea because there is a lot of like new cool brands around here you know that we don't know but at the same time they also have very uh established brands you know if it comes to audio and stuff that's the dji store i own dji i like dji this is the one that i i have a mini no no, no i have classic no 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 sorry this is the new one i have i have air 2 pro that's the one that i have yeah these stores of electronics are huge huge you can come play nintendo switch here this bike is ridiculous bro let's check so this bike cost 56,000, 47 or something. That's around $2,000 here and there. Some e-bikes. That's cool, right? I wouldn't drive that, honestly. By the way, soon i'm going to need to update the mouse so i'm going to buy something like this just for you guys to uh compare these prices with the prices that we have in the west 3300 baht is 100 approximately depends on the day sometimes dollar goes up sometimes it plummets they got HyperX here also. I currently have Still Series, but the next one that I'm gonna have is Logitech. Let's walk through here. Some really, really cool. TVs around here, beautiful. Let's check. This is a Neo QLED 8K TV, 85 inch promotion price, 85,000, right? Yeah. Oops. Okay, since my um gimbal turned around i just will wave at you and say hello <laughs> so all kinds of appliances here right just gonna make a shortcut around here and we're going to go to the main road but Asia is filled with tech though it is filled with tech and me personally what I've understood about Asia is that you have to be very careful with tech when you buy something because there is a lot of especially guys if you for example I will tell you this so so guys if you for example go to these asian type of countries right and if you want to buy something off the street just know in your head that most likely it's junk most likely all the time and it doesn't cost more than a dollar but they will sell it to you for ten dollars twenty dollars all of that stuff so i would say in asia you have to be way 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 more aware about tech then about clothing or food or anything like that you know what i mean yeah and this is this is what they have here 
they have a Mega Cineplex. We're gonna go to Mega Cineplex. Let me check what time is it. It is noon. I think my movie today is around 2.30, so we still have time. Ikea is this way. We're gonna go into Ikea another uh, after the movie. Today we're gonna be exploring the mall first. And Ikea, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, Ikea is gonna be a separate next video because it's really big here and I'm gonna put the link in the description, obviously. If you're interested, there's gonna be another video for Ikea, it's gonna be separate. But just a glimpse, it's the same, it's really beautiful. They have these pre-made rooms, which is really, really cute. We are gonna go into the left and smells so good it smells like pine it smells like pine and we're gonna wrap around ikea we're gonna walk this way Popcorn, McDonald's, the pizza company. MK Koi This is a popular chain of drinks That guy was super weird Vista Cafe smells so good, guys. This cafe feels, smells really good. Oh, you know about these like uh, cocoa uh, bubble tea restaurants? Let's see what number is this, because they are all over the world. This is 3,795, bro. <laughs> they have so many of uh, these cocoa restaurant, uh, cocoa bubble teas. This is for kids. They have a playground there, which is great. They have also supervision. I like that. Downstairs, guys, if you can see, we got, let me, let me check. There were just like some stores that we went through. Some cosmetics, beauty and stuff. guitar store we're gonna go this way now I think the terrace is something that we could just step out really quick and take a look at the terrace. 
bunch of food, bunch of restaurants around here, guys, if you're interested in that. You can stay the whole day in this mall for sure. Just gonna walk out really quick to show you the view and then we're gonna walk in. Really hot though, really, really hot. This is where we walked in actually, if you remember. Let's walk this way actually a little bit and then maybe show you what's going on downstairs. Change the setting. Because remember when we walked in, we walked that way outside and then we can walk this way so we can see what's happening. How is my TikTok doing? Are you guys all right over there? I'm checking the TikTok. Yes, you guys are good? Okay. Barbecue Plaza. Very popular uh, buffet style, rest, buffet hot pot, I think, or something like that. Very popular chain in, in Asia in general. Shabutomo, never been here actually, but looks like a Japanese hot pot. Mm -hmm, yes. Spaghetti factory, wow. That's interesting. He's making you spaghetti right there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. He stretched it out, the dough. That is cool. That is so cool. We're gonna go downstairs here and then we're gonna walk also that way at the lower level because I haven't seen what's happening over there yet. On this side we got some IKEA and stuff and We're gonna also check the p car parking lot. That's, that's if you come guys here by car, all of that is a parking lot. And you see the sign, Mega Bangna? You won't be able to miss it. On the right side near Ikea, we got some cars over there. They're selling some German cars, by the way. I think like BMW and stuff. All right, now I can show you the type of food that we have down here. Mind you guys that outside is really hot where I'm work walking right now, but every restaurant that we are passing by, look at this food. Every restaurant has people in there so if you are a foodie 
You can't eat it all, bro. You can't eat it all. You can try, but you can't. Just will show you this part. Oh, this is so cute, look. Caution, because this, it's slippery around here. Walk with caution. Some seafood place. In these like uh, gardens, feels much better because the water is around here. So I feel like easier to breathe. And so much food. Just enormous amounts of food, guys. Kids are playing down there, walking. Trying not to fall, but probably still falling. Beautiful. When you, when you live in Asian countries, you must always get yourself hydrated. You must always try to stay near water, have showers. If you don't have a pool, if you have pool, that's fucking great. All of that stuff. It's just, it's just a must. There is no other way. And now we're gonna go into the main entrance because remember, last time, this is, guys, look, this is, this is smoke coming out of the, Oh, actually, no, it's a moisturizer. Yeah, 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 it's a moisturizer, okay. It's like a breeze for those people who get super hot. You know, like, um, I remember we have those in Six Flags Great Adventure when you're waiting in the line summertime during the rides. Also GoPro. GoPro store right away here. Ooh, this is great, bro. This is amazing. Okay, so since we came out of there and we went down there, so before we went up there, so now we're gonna go downstairs here and then we're gonna turn right, I think so. Yes, we're gonna turn right. gonna check my TikTok guys
I'm a little bit tired, maybe. We're gonna use one of these chairs right now. Oh, they're for sale. Can I pay something and try? I want to pay. And I want to try. These are really, really good. Not that expensive. Some of them are only like a thousand or two thousand dollars. That could be a good business. You can resell them in America for ten thousand. But you know what we are doing. We're doing our own thing. Okay, so we are guys in another food court. First of all, these are all banks around here. And then this is another food court that we have. Also, we're gonna go through, this is a uh, jewelry store. And in front of us, we're gonna see some Big C Extra, which is a big store. It's like a supermarket. This is a food court. Yeah, this is a food court. You see how people are eating? This is basically like not as expensive as you would find food like a restaurants upstairs. This is much cheaper. Maybe I get some bubble tea. I want some bubble tea. And this is probably entrance. Yeah, this is shuttle bus and taxi. So that entrance is where people are coming here from. And this is, we got to the food court, guys. Another, another part of the food court. More food videos, guys, for you, especially. I'm not sure if you need to buy cards here first. 
usually in these type of food courts what they have is that they have a system where you buy a card and then you top up and you have that card and when you choose what you want um, you just give them your card and they reduce money from the balance but this is a big food court also we first gonna go this way big C is on the left this is this is by the way this is big C plus so if you guys need to buy something like you know type of Walmart stuff that's where you do it big C is a huge chain yep yep coffee bubble tea not much left over there so i'm gonna just cut through lines and i'm gonna show you what else do we have this way so much food guys this is ridiculous well i just saw him pay with cash so maybe this court doesn't have that system that i was talking to you about earlier but if you decide to travel to Bangkok, you will know that many times people in the food courts like this, like in malls, they top up with cards. This is a huge mall, huge, huge, huge mall. This food must be good for those who like this stuff because there was a line. And people are eating. By the way, what I've noticed is, I don't know if they are protecting like that or no, but in the most of these like food court malls, they do not have anything in English. They usually only have in Thai. Uh, but if you go to restaurants, if you want to pay, obviously, a foreigner price or a good, uh, like a good meal, then they're going to have it translated in English. Just telling you that something that you should be aware of. Okay. Let's see what else they have. I just want some bubble tea. I don't want anything else. Do you guys, should I show you what's going on in the big C? Do you guys wanna go and check the big C since we are here? Okay, let's go very quick. I'm not gonna go through the whole market, but we're just gonna show you what is it like in the big C. In the big market, donuts, man, right away. Oh my God, they know how to get you, bro. This is what's like a big C. Everything you want is here. The only thing that they have a lot of like Asian type of veggies, roots, uh, greens, uh, fruits also, and a lot of chili, obviously. So they have a lot of stuff that is like not very usual for us, for foreigners. But when you learn about it, man, it is so beneficial for health. Like the amount of things that you can buy in Asia to let's say get yourself out of the cold is just ridiculous, you know? The only thing is you need to open YouTube and just come to these stores and buy it. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not super huge, but it's big, it's big. The, the fact that they have this like big C plus inside of the shopping mall is really good like people who live people who live next to this bangna mall super bangna oh my god you guys have everything here you can live in this mall but at the same time guys this mall is quite far away from the downtown quite far away from where you need to travel. I had to take a bike here, uh, Volt, 
and it took me like I think about 15 kilometers uh, I was driving it was not that much of a traffic but it was quite a while and um, it took me about 40 minutes or something 40 minutes to an hour so just decided to show you the regular supermarket of Thailand why not right since we already were here bunch of shit selling not that many people in here though oh this is interesting like if you haven't seen it every store has something like this this is like a religion religious section something like that because thailand is very spiritual and most they're buddhist and they do offerings to buddha and stuff like that so it's like almost every store has that also which is great you know because they are preserving their culture at the same time while they're already like super integrated into the world economy and just by being in this mall you guys can see how integrated they are they have they have everything here all of the brands all of the styles you know so I'm going to get some bubble tea now we're gonna walk through this center circle here yeah gonna walk through the central circle again turn right and then I think I think I saw a bubble tea shop before I think so yeah bubble time exactly that's what I want Uh, bubble tea uh, regular 25% uh, sugar tapioca bubble please Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, no. Captain Cobb. Thank you. Do you have one napkin, please? Thank you. Bubble time. Look at these cute cakes. Cute, right? Okay, guys, so while I'm having bubble tea, we're gonna walk 
some more around this mall where I've never been before yet. Not gonna talk too much because I was already talking a lot. Guys, if you like my commentary, if you like me talking, let me know what you think in the comments below and also hit the like button. If you like these walking videos, make sure to subscribe and make sure you guys uh, also hit the notification button because we do all these walking videos uh, and posting all the time to my YouTube channel. And we are trying to have you guys updated on all of these places which you can visit in Thailand and in general. All of this content is for you guys. Let's fucking go. We came from here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go upstairs or downstairs. Let's see what they have over there. Let's explore. Is it a parking lot or something? I don't know if they have anything there. Yeah, I see cars. I see cars. So downstairs is most likely a parking lot. Yep. What are we going to do is we're going to use this escalator over here and we're going to go upstairs and we're gonna check the wing that we haven't been um, at yet. And this is probably also towards the movie theater, which we're going to be watching today also John Wick. Cheers. I don't know honestly how I'm doing this. Drinking bubble tea, enjoying myself, streaming on TikTok, recording video for you guys on YouTube, commenting on my microphone right here. I'm a Superman, man. I'm a Superman. Recycle stuff. And here's the movie theater. Oh, wow. It's huge. This is where we're coming today, guys. We're gonna be in this movie theater. They got IMAX. They got everything here. A lot of young people chilling. What's most important is that this movie theater has the best popcorn. I love popcorn here. I've ate already popcorn in this movie theater uh, in Icon Sayam, and I've even ordered it to my home from um, the movie theater. It is that good. But the problem then is that it is hard, very hard to finish when you order a big bucket. We're gonna go this way. Show you guys more <coughs> stuff. Some gaming machines, gaming rigs. Looks cool.
looked like 40, 90, but I don't see it there, honestly. AMD store. Okay. AMD is good. But to be honest, I like Intel more and Nvidia more. Let's guys go into the Food Republic. They have also Food Republic over there. Oh my god. Shush. <laughs> Let's go through more food court. Food is everywhere, right? So, guys, this is the food court that I was talking to you about, okay? The one that was downstairs, probably you were just paying and you were just buying whatever you want. But this is the one where you buy. It's okay, I think. So it's better that way. How's everybody doing, chat? What's up, what's up, what's up? You guys are good? So here's the... Here's the way you, you could do this in almost every mall. You first buy a card and then you top up with money. And then when you go into these malls, they have these food courts where you just choose what you like. And usually these type of food courts, they're not expensive. And it's very popular among tourists also. And you can just find any kind of food that you like and then you just choose it here like look she's making some ramen here let's check it out looks good right and she's just frying some chili oh that is spicy that is super spicy Yep. And then you just choose what you like and you pay them with a card. And then if you decide to come to another, to this mall another time, you can just keep the money on the card. So it's, it's quite easy, it's convenient, I'd say. You see, like, people are eating. A lot of Thai people are around here right now. Not many foreigners. So good. They got ice cream around here. They got some papaya salad, which I personally actually like this one because it's different from the food court that we had below there. Here you can even see what they sell. So they have a English translation, which is amazing. They got a bunch of food around here. Also, they have plates like this with, the, with ready to show food. Also here. Looks pre-made. Cashier also here. So much food, guys. Smells so many different spices. So many different... Oh, this is a bento box. I like bento box, Japanese food. That's amazing. So to give you a quick um, pricing, the most, the cheapest one that they have here is 69 baht, which is like $2. And the most expensive one is 179. 
which is like, um, what is it, like five dollars? Yeah, yeah, around that, plus minus. So they have these names like Chinese chicken rice or like fish bowl noodle, Japanese food over there. So much food, it's insane. It's just insane. You can't you can't eat it all, you know what I mean? Can't eat it all. What do they got there? They got some rice some veggies all kinds of spices also very very not expensive like the cheapest what they have here on the menu is probably like two dollars and then the most expensive is like three so and you're gonna get for, for that money you're gonna get a full meal these are mushrooms some eggs I like mushrooms, I don't like eggs. This cord is huge. Some heavy stuff around there. Some meat. So many people are eating. And then it's not really hard to find a place because they 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 keep it very like simple and clean you know and if you ever come here guys that's where you know that it's right across the cineplex right across the movie theater a lot of food look at this this is amazing you can just pick it yourself whatever you like i like these type of hot pot um, uh, places where they have different kind of like uh, veggies and other stuff and you just pick a toothpick with whatever food you want on it and then they count you at the end how many toothpicks or like it's a plastic or a wooden toothpicks with food how many of those you use and then they count we went to a place which is called panda um, uh, i don't remember something something panda like a panda not panda express panda express is different but um, it's like a type of a chinese a hot pot restaurant something with panda and that one is amazing I recommend anybody who wants to experience that go uh, and check it out. This is Boost, by the way, very popular also, uh, chain with yogurts and stuff, but I'll be honest with you guys, the other time, <laughs> it just maybe happened to me once, I don't know, but the other time that we went to a mall and we have ate uh, Boost, I tried it, I had to go to the bathroom very quick. So it was kind of crazy. Look downstairs, they got a shopping spree or something. Like people are just like, cause it, they have sale over there. So people are shopping, shopping, shopping. Like crazy. Then the guy is over there on terrace walking. You see, you can even walk there. I think those are construction workers. Nevertheless, let's keep exploring this way. Honestly, if you live somewhere around this area, it's, it's game over. You basically do not need anything else. The only thing you need is to come to this Bangna Super Mall, man. That's all. You don't need nothing else. Because they have it all. This, this particular mall is like very widespread. 
probably me walking today and recording this video guys for you it took me I don't know how long it's gonna be maybe like around hour and a half or two hours or something like that right but I definitely walked a lot today and lost a lot of calories you know what I mean these are some hello how are you and uh, uh, today I lost a lot of calories yes that's what I wanted to say which is good walking is good these are on the left are all yeah these are phone and mobile experiences you can just come and chill here these are some phone shops case shops and other stuff Puma, Thailand. And yeah, this is it. I think I think guys I walked through the whole mall honestly I walked through the whole mall maybe I've missed some small parts but most of the time I showed you guys everything if you like my videos hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button uh, I post a lot of these walking travel narration videos and I hope to see you in the next one Right now, I'm going to meet Prang, and we're going to watch a movie called John Wick. Hello. This is Huawei. Huawei looks like Apple a little bit, right? And then what else do we have? We have Samsung here. Let me check what do we got. And we also have ice skate and bowling. All right, let's go check it out. It's gonna be really cool. Let me ask them if I can. Sadika, can I just two minutes? I will come back. Two minutes, thank you. This is an ice skating ring, guys. I like ice skating, but I don't think I'm gonna do it today. Last one, I remember last one was in New York in Central Park. That's the last ice skating ring I've been on. A lot of kids around here. And then also on the left side, they got some small hockey, right? Let me... 
I throw away my drink. Over there, they got an ice skating ring, also for hockey. Girls are also playing hockey, let's go. That's awesome. All right. And then on another side, Here's, here we have, on this side, we have shoes and ice skates. And then on another side, I'm gonna walk you to show you. Obviously, hockey, table hockey over there. That's for sure. And then I will walk out and then I will walk. In to the other side. You can buy tickets here. Really, really cool mall. They're open until 9 or 10. Depends on the day of the week. Also have a small food and restaurant chill out 